Hello, beautiful family of God. This is your pastor, Father Joe Krupp. And as you know, throughout this week, we've been offering you all kinds of updates. Uh, the first one was at our mass schedule. The second one is our beautiful, awesome new church. And now uh, we're going to take a look at some of the personnel changes. Um, we've noticed a few people, and, and I totally get it, have looked at the data and said, that's a lot of people leaving in June. Is everything okay? Yes, <laughs> everything's fine. What's going on is this. Uh, we have employees who decided way before this that they would like June to be their last month here, right? So for example, I don't know how many of you know our, our, our maintenance guy, Sean. He's a great man. Last year, he told us that June would be the end of his time with us. He's going to retire. And then uh, early in the year, uh, Maddie, our amazing <laughs> RCIA director and all-around swell person, uh, felt like the Lord was calling her uh, to take some time with her family. So she uh, said, gosh, this was like February that she's going to be stepping down in June. And then uh, another home run hitter, Aaron. Aaron went and got engaged. And she's kind of got this crazy idea that she'd like to live with her husband. So uh, those are three that we knew were coming months ago. Uh, Lori, for her part, who is our amazing liturgist and again, like a just a fantastic utility infielder, uh, she decided she'd like to step down as well. So uh, that's the four. Um, and uh, again, I just want to ease your hearts. No one's, uh, nothing bad is happening here. Uh, what does it put us? Well, you can't replace these people. And I, I mean that. I know folks say stuff like that. I literally mean that. These are four, we were so blessed to have them people. But it also is allowing us to kind of continue building on something that we needed to get after, right? Uh, when I first got here and met with the finance council, we realized we, 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 we had a very, very large payroll. And the first year, you may remember, uh, we made a lot of cuts. And we needed to do this. We were actually pulling money from savings every month just to meet payroll. And that's not a healthy practice. Uh, and eventually, of course, you run out of savings, which we did. Um, on the positive side, holy cow, you guys have responded with great love and generosity. And I can't believe what the Lord is doing with our finances. And I'm I could get gooey thanking you for that. But what this is going to allow us to do is pray and work hard to see uh, how to do this in a way that respects your money. Um, one of the things I, I really believe with all my heart is that every penny we get here, and I mean this, you worked for and then just gave to us. And so I want to be very conservative with our finances and want us to financially have a good future for your grandkids and your kids and their kids and which of course are your grandkids now that I think about it. But anyway, just kind of keep your eye out. We're uh, posting jobs, uh, looking to hire people and uh, really, you know, of course we're looking for very holy people who work well on a team and can help our non-existent parish softball team. Um, of course, this team doesn't exist, but it means we've never lost. So, you know, we got that going for us. So anyway, there it is. Uh, there's a parish personnel update. I can't give you any names yet because we haven't hired anybody. This has all just kind of gone down. And we've been in a bit of a, a different mode during this quarantine. So uh, things are going great here, guys. And again, I can't wait to keep giving you more updates because what the Lord's been doing is insane. Our parish is growing. Our finances are strong. Our church is going up. God is good. So uh, thank you. I hope you know how grateful in my heart I am that I get to be your priest and how touched I am at your generosity and support. It would really help us if you could spread this information around so people know what's going on. And again, you'll hear me say this a lot. Please be conscious of our beautiful parishioners who just don't have Facebook or don't use it or who don't really get after it on the internet. If you could maybe even call them and say, you know, Father made a video and here's what's going down, that'd be really great. Um, so I think that's it. Let me check my notes. Yeah, there we are. Uh, thank you so much for watching this. And again, thanks for helping us get the word out. Um, I'm very grateful to the Lord for you. I'll see you soon.
Bye.